What's going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome back to your 7th XHTML tutorial. In this tutorial, what we're going to be learning how to do is create a link within the same page. So we're saying, alright Bucky, you are an idiot, why would I want to click a link that takes me to the same page where I'm already at? Why can't I just hit refresh if I was just going to do that? Well, this is helpful for one main reason. If you have a really long website and you don't want to you don't want to have the user scroll down looking for whatever piece of information they need on that website you can create something like a table of contents or a directory at the top and then they click whatever information they want and it just shoots them down to whatever they were looking for so before this tutorial what I did is I went and grabbed a bunch of random information this is actually the rules from my forum if you ever get a chance check it out the new boston.com slash forum plug plug and I you know you can use whatever you want but uh, I just needed a lot of text so as you can see this is a pretty long web page and if the user was looking for something on here you don't want to have them you don't want to make them go to your website and scroll down and be like yeah you find whatever information you're looking for this is 2011 we don't have time for that I want my data right now biatch so let's go ahead and create a navigation system where it makes it easier for the user so the first thing that we need to do is write alright where do we want our target to be so let's go ahead and do this let's go ahead and make a link at the top that says farming or something and when they click it it shoots them right down to this section and maybe we'll create another one that says caps and when they click that it shoots them right down to this section so they don't have to scroll through looking for it all so in order to link to this section of our web page we need to create a target a way of saying this is where I want to link so in order to do that go in your code where it says post count farming and go ahead and add your anchors and take note you don't need anything in between these anchor tags because we're not really linking to anything this is just the destination where we want to end up so anyways in your first a tag what you need to do is, th is this you need a name for your target that way if you have a bunch of different targets on your web page your browser knows what one you're talking about so instead of href like before this attribute is called name and set this equal to whatever name you want I'm just gonna name mine farm because I mean this is a section about post count farming so why not name it farm simple enough so go ahead and write a name equals farm so now we have the destination this is the destination where we want to end up now in order to link to that destination here's what we need to do at the top of your page or wherever you want go ahead and add your anchor tags a your ending anchor tag and write something in between like farming section now whenever they click this it should take them to the farming section but in order to link to this section you need to do something weird remember that href at attribute that took you you know to other pages like google or something well instead of writing the name of a website what we can do if we want to link to a different section of the same website is write the pound sign and then write whatever name the anchor had so that name was farm so let's go ahead and name that farm so again let's go ahead and save this and I'll uh, show you guys how it works before so let's go ahead and refresh and now we have a link at the top that says farming section and whenever we click it it takes us right down to the section of post count farming so we don't have to scroll all the way back there just click it and it takes us there pretty sweet huh so let me go ahead and do this one more time with a different section until it really sticks in your brain so let's go ahead and link to this advertising section why the heck not so let's go ahead and add my tags first and as this name I'm gonna set name equals ADS for ads so now let's go ahead at the top here and let's go ahead and make another a a ads section not bad and now is href for this or is the destination for this go ahead and write pound sign ads because remember the name of this target was ads so now let's go ahead and save this bad boy hopefully I didn't mess anything up refresh and check this out whenever we want to go to the farming section click farming section it takes you to farming 
whenever we want to go to the ad section click ad section it takes you to advertising how sweet is that a nice little navigation bar at the top to link to uh you know different places on our website so again the thing i just want to recap one last time you don't need any link right here because this is just a destination we're not making a link itself we're just making the end destination what you do need a link for is this at the top section the navigation bar the place where you click that's where you need to make the links and in order to do that use your href attribute and for the destination put pound sign which pretty much means somewhere on my website and the name whatever you named it that keyword so that is basically how do you create a link within a web page and that's why it is useful so don't forget anytime you create a long web page and you don't want to annoy the user this is the system that you need to set up so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out my other videos and i will smell you guys later